What's up boys? So somebody from Discord actually asked if I would do a reaction to this video. Uh, so this is the character demo for Zhang Li. Just to be completely honest and upfront with you guys, I am still not convinced that I want to be summoning for Zhang Li at all yet. Um, let's see if this video can change my mind in any way. We last left off with ancient Liyue beset by an ocean demon and a mountain dragon. Rex Lapis mustered his adept eye hmm. to restore peace to the land. They say that before he set out, he spoke these words. Extremely knowledgeable in all things. <laughs> This is an age of gods and monsters. I wish not for dominion, yet I cannot watch the common folk suffer. I will have order! the land and defend our safe harbor that was the first contract in Leo and now the final contract too has been set in stone okay he's uh <laughs> I mean he's a badass don't get me wrong I actually really do like his character um he uh... His voice is really cool. I like the fact that he has a super deep voice. Um, I think as a character, he's really cool. S that video still doesn't change my mind. I, I don't know. I'm like, I want him because of my collector mentality. Like I, I want to have all the characters, but I'm so far from pity that I know it's not going to make a big deal. I'm, I'm not going to be able to put a huge dent in the banner to, to actually get him. So it's just going to be literally up to the Archons if I end up getting him. I don't know. Let's also take a look at uh, the new Fire Girl. She has the name and rock and roll's the game. And I'm the only one who plays it in Leo Harbor. Been thinking about staging concerts elsewhere lately, but yeah. what say you sign me up for your world tour? Anywhere's good. Almost about to go live over here. You coming? Yeah! Power Hexing! Rock into the rescue! Time to rock! That's the groove, all right. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on fire lately. Look out for my next performance. So... I, it's weird. I'm actually slightly more in, I don't know. I don't know if I could say that. I, um, I feel like Zhang Li would be a, a cooler play style, uh, being that he's a polearm user. I like the fact that he had that like obelisk where he could just throw that obelisk down and, uh, kind of turn everybody into stone and that kind of stuff. Like that stuff seems really super cool, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm convinced enough that I want to actually summon for them. Let me take a look at Zhang Li really quick, though. I don't know if I'm allowed to show you guys this stuff, so I'm not going to just in case. So after taking a look at both of their kits, um, I neither of them honestly sound like they're up my alley. Um, Zhang Li sounds super interesting to play with. I like his petrify mechanic. But honestly, his play style isn't really in my wheelhouse. He seems more 
Um, he seems more like set up and kind of like a, he almost seems like a secondary support to me, not even like a main support. So maybe that's wrong. This is just my first impressions. I, 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 I honestly don't think that he fits my general play style into the game. Um, based on looking at his kit, I honestly don't feel like I really want to summon for him. Uh, I don't feel like I really, uh, I don't feel, I, I just don't feel like I need him. It, it, I don't know. Maybe once I go through like the trial run or whatever that thing is that lets you play as him, maybe then I'll get like a different idea of him. But honestly, like right now, just looking at his kit on paper, not, not really my thing. Uh, Shinyan kind of feels the same way. She almost feels like a copy of Noel, and I don't really care for that. Um, Noelle's not really my play style either, unless I had her at like C6. At C6, she sounds really fun. Um, and I think Sinyan is kind of in the same situation. I don't necessarily care for this play style unless I get her to C6, because at C6, uh, she gains attack equal to 50% uh, of her defense, which is pretty much the exact same thing as Noelle. Um, and then her regular kit, I mean, it's all right. Um, it's kind of cool that like she has like this focus on physical damage in some respects, but I don't know. Um, it, it being that it doesn't look like she really boosts physical damage to other characters. Uh, well, okay, so n now that's rock and roll. So at Ascension level four, whatever it is where she gets that like second um, and third passive, so her third passive, now that's rock and roll character shielded by sweeping fever, uh, deal 15% increased physical damage. So that could be interesting, but am I really going to put the resources into getting her all the way up to, you know, 60 plus just to do that? Is that, is that worth? I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of resources just to get an extra 15%, um, physical damage, but maybe team comp wise it, it would work really well um maybe like her and bennett unfortunately i don't have bennett so i can't really do that maybe those two as your supports and then um you know some some physical damage dealers like maybe maybe fischl and razor you know that would kind of be an interesting little combo um but honestly like Play style wise, I don't feel like either of them really sound that fun to me, but I'll try both of them out in the little preview thing that it gives us and we'll go from there and we'll see if we're actually going to do some wishes on there. But yeah, so that's actually going to be it. That's I, I didn't even expect to really, you know, look through kits and talk about that kind of stuff. But uh, let me know. Are you guys going to be, you know, throwing down some primo gems for these two characters? I completely understand there is a ton of people out there looking for Daddy Zhang Li and, you know, that's cool, man. I'm... Um, that's all good. If that if he fits your play style, then by all means, get into it and have fun with him. Um, but yeah, let me know. See you guys later. <laughs>